We promised you a flamethrower on a drone and today we are going to deliver. <laughs> also, we showed how durable the DJI minis are. Bouncing off walls, bouncing off rocks, falling in the sand, crashing into each other. But today, the winner of the challenge, Larry, is gonna be put to the ultimate test. So what we've got here is the Wasp from the Throw Flame Company. If you see our video on the flamethrowers, this is the company that makes the super ridiculous, awesome one. So, so far what we've done, we have rigged up a remote control. This is totally overkill because we're gonna attach it to a Matrice, which doesn't have any remote control out. So we've attached it to this with a ridiculously powerful 12 channel remote where all we're gonna do is flip a switch. So this will power the radio. And of course, they said you can use between a three cell and a six cell battery. And being us, we're gonna use the six cell. Oh. Day. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna see if this works. Hooking up the battery to the battery eliminator. There we go. Six cell reducer. Ready. Is it clicking? Yeah. Should we test to see if they arc? I think it's attached to a rubber end on this end. <laughs> George. <laughs> we've got the batteries, we've got the remote, and now the only thing that we've got to figure out is how to actually attach it to a drone. to fly it inside. A little shimmy. A lot of shimmy. Zip ties popping. Holy cow. The nozzle flopping is making everything. It's got death wall. Notice that it shimmied less three feet off the ground than it did one foot off the ground? Yeah. Clear. They used to do this with, uh, in the good old days when I used to build drones, you would try and do heavy lift competitions and you would basically tie a bunch of bottles of water together and then tie it to the drone. So like six pounds of water is how many bottles? I don't know that stuff. Well, how many bottles of water makes a gallon? Depends on how big the bottles are. <laughs> <laughs> the bottles that are in our refrigerator. <laughs> um, eight. eight? Yeah. Okay, let's take eight bottles of water and tie them together. So what we're attempting now is to see how many huevos this drone has. By huevos, I mean eggs. Clear prop. Woo! <laughs> 
that's how I look when I lift that much weight too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a successful test. That's impressive. That's a pretty wobbly payload. I think the gas is going to be less wobbly oh, of a payload. Sure. Don't we have a scale here? Yeah. Almost 23 pounds. Plus the nine? Right. Yeah. That's a lot of weight in here. It's a heavy lifter. I said we get four of them. Try to lift a small person. This next test is to make sure that there's no electromechanical interference from that arc. This is not a lift test. This is just a make sure the remote controls work test. I really, really don't want to crash this. Hello, darkness, my old... Anything weird? Seemed pretty normal that time. Now that we have that tested out and have a proof that it should work, we're going to strengthen up the zip ties and then we're gonna go out and test it for real. So we're back out at the boneyard. This is the same spot we tested those three flamethrowers. Seems to be the spot with the least amount of vegetation. AKA weeds and brush. Define vegetation. <laughs> Okay, we ready? Let's do this. I'm ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> We're having the same thing as last time. We need Trevor to do his magic adjustments again. A lot of droning going Keep on. Top left, this way. Yep. Yeah, that. It's Go ahead. Scream. <laughs> Sounds like something's dying. Free! Okay, here we go. Yeah! Okay, try it now. Woo! -hoo. Do it. Should we put Larry up? Yes. We brought Larry, which is Tucker's winning drone from the RC games. And since he won, he's sacrificed to the gods of flamethrowers and drones. Something's gonna happen and we're gonna find out what it is. Tell me when you want me to fire him up so that Larry can fly into him. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Right. Let me yeah. tell you something. <laughs> I told you they would survive. Oh. oh, come back, Larry. You got this, Larry. <laughs> Larry, you're still alive. <laughs> Feel alive! Oh. <laughs> Put him on his back. <laughs> oh, poor Larry. Is he cooked? Oh, look at his propellers. <laughs> he is cooked. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The crazy thing though is, I bet you anything, if we change the props, they'll fly just like new. <laughs> I'm wondering if he'll still fly as it is. Oh, come 
on, Larry! Come on, Larry! Oh, look at that! Larry, you're a champ! Go, Larry! That's impressive. That's amazing. That's as amazing as the flamethrower. Larry, you are my hero for the day. <laughs> I think that just speaks volumes to those little drones. Oh my man. God, they're ridiculous. We crashed them into everything. We flamethrowered it, and I guarantee you, if he switches out those propellers, it'll be fine again. Yeah, he was fine. He just couldn't gain any altitude. Look at that. They're even Look folded at up one. at the end. Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> One's like an inch longer than the other one. <laughs> That is amazing. This is gonna sit on my desk forever. When things get hard, just think about Larry. <laughs> he kept flying. <laughs> you crash him in the sub, light him on fire. Larry has no quit. Be like Larry.